Hello. I don't know why it turned off a minute ago, but we're going to go look for spruce roots. have to use cedar roots. We don't see any spruce trees here. That one's fallen over. That would be a good one. I'll do this it's easier than I do here. So this one here, this right here is a cedar. This one has Oops, didn't mean to pull you close. Okay, there they are. Okay, so here's one, and then right away, you take off the bark, Then you end up with this beautiful little white root. Okay, and then roll it up. I wonder if I can put you up here where you can see. Okay, so take all the red stuff off. And then you can use this for the rim of a small cedar bark basket or for birch bark. This is what they used for birch bark in the past. So you just roll it up into a little to a little ring. You see? And then you put it in your pocket if you happen to have a pocket. I don't have a pocket. What am I going to do? Put it in my belt. 
Okay, and then we'll get another one. Let's get this one. Will that come up? I think the ground is, uh, that's ice, it's still frozen here. This one. It's like a little skin, like a little sheet that's around it. thing about long fingernails is they're they're useful tools. I find I use them a lot. Of course then I have dirty fingernails all the time. You know you win some you lose some. Okay, there's a second one. Let's make sure I've still got the first one. This is a very thin root. See how thin that is? Do I have two? Maybe I'll put them on here. There. Get another one. Come and see. I guess we we'll go down here and the water too. You can also use big ones. They get very twisted around each other, you know. So I think this is part of that one. Okay, and then this one. Probably a better size. That one comes from up here somewhere. Yeah? What? Yep, I'm finding some. Okay, let's just take this part here.
Okay, so we have that one now. There's two. I think I'll get this piece here. And I will split it. Okay, that ought to do it. But I'm here. Let's get some more. People that have been doing this forever get very, very long ones. They'll spend a whole day harvesting this stuff. And then when they're too big, they split them. Okay, there we go. So this is what I've got. Let's go back. Bring the top of that pillow. Down. There sure is. I was just thinking about maybe I should harvest some of it. little basket. Beautiful terrain, isn't it? Yeah, because you just cut those, they're basically. They're fresh. Are they vegetable? Yeah. So are those cedar roots? Yes. Did you dig them up? It's just a little bit. Oh. The, they're just below the surface. Yeah. And then I have to take all the to take all the, the bark off them. Oh, I left the other ones on the tree branch. Darn it. Well, I have enough here, I guess. down over there. You can see the roots and you can see the whole tree and then the top of the tree is over here. Just like straight back that way. Cool. Yeah, this is kind of cool. 
one of the cedars had fallen over and I was thinking, oh, I'll go get those brutes, but anyway, I was by where I was, so it was okay. Oh, one of the cedars had fallen over? Yeah, they always fall over in the water. I don't know why they love water so much. White cedar, I guess. I carry my tools with me. <laughs> and then you roll them up. What does that do? Then if when they dry, they're already they're already in the right shape. You can easily wet them. These are pretty small, which are good for um, the rim. But you can harvest the big ones and then split them until they're this size. You need the sun to come out, Heavenly Father, behind those clouds. You need the clouds to shift away. Are you warm enough? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. It's a bit of a cool chill, but it yeah. feels good. I guess it was pretty, it was like this in Holland a lot. I was sitting outside. First few days it was 18 or 20 or something. It was amazing. amazing eh? Yeah, but then it stopped. It went back to normal. Would your sister come and sit out here with you? Well, when when we when she comes, we walk on her land. Yeah. And she doesn't like to sit. But she'll sit on the stump or something. But I need chairs everywhere so I can stop and relax in a nice, safe spot. Yeah. A tick-free environment. <laughs> So you're not sitting on a stump you mean? No. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to sit on anything the ticks are walking on. Yeah. You stopped doing your crocheting. Yeah, I guess I thought, you know, I got my head down and I can do this inside. Why would I do this when I'm out here in the beauty? Like Do you I want do you want to look in the binoculars? I have binoculars. Okay. Yeah, I just, uh, you know, I was just thinking I should just... Just watch. Enjoy how beautiful it is. Because, you know, every season has its beauty. I think that they, those binoculars have been dropped, so they're not quite together. So you have to twist one up and one down or something. No, it's fine. No, it's oh, oh, good. Okay. Yeah. Good. It was so amazing to sit beside deer that were sitting beside us. <laughs> no, right? I've told so many people about that because really, it was such an amazing experience, eh? Yeah. For so long. Yeah. Like. There we go.
Okay, I think I will see if I can weave this in. I guess I should do the rest of them first. Here, I'll give you that so it doesn't fall. Oh, you're seeing where the little waterfall is. Yeah, I can find it yeah. So, tell me about this. Is this woodpeckers have done this and that's the white stuff on the bottom? Yeah, it's, hair, it's a pileated woodpecker. It happened to another tree. Yeah, I saw we walked by it. Yeah. And I wondered, I was like, yeah. I was going to say something then, but I just thought, oh, I'll just it or something. That's amazing. They really, you know, when they want to make a, a nest, they don't do all that. So what do they do all that for? Oh, they're getting the bugs. The bugs. That was winter food supply, I guess. very much deer poop on the way out here. I guess they don't come right here. Hmm. I don't know. Did you notice any? No. But I wasn't really looking at the ground so much. I don't know. birch tree down over there, but it's it's rotting and the bark has all moss on it. It's kind of a waste. Mm, totally. Like there's thousands of years of of rotted leaves here. Hmm. I guess this is true. Have you ever done forest bathing? Forest bathing? Yeah. Yeah, that's what this is, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like you look at this branch right here and you just watch how the wind moves it. Oh, I see. Oh. And then you see those, see that little leaf like that's going really fast right above it? Uh huh. Yeah. Well, it's stopped now, but. Like almost like shivering, and then the ones down below are swaying because there's a bigger open space. Yeah, and it's almost like they wave at you. It's pretty cool. <laughs> and then you can see the big fir tree over there. The top, the the um, branches are swaying back and forth too. Uh huh. Yeah. And just like checking out all the different colors. So there's an actual way to do it. <coughs> yeah, well, you basically feet. just observe, right? Like, 
things that you would just walk by, like the moss maybe on the bottom of that tree and then how there's different colors of green in the moss. See right down here? Mm -hmm. You know, you might just walk right by that or the, I don't know, like where did that branch fall from from that tree there? And, I don't know. It's just cool to... It's like archaeology. Watching. There must be some animals around here, though. Oh, yeah. And they hear us coming, and so they hide. Sometimes if you see a hollow, a hole in a tree, if you knock on the tree, the animal will run out. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think it's little animals. See here? You can see all those holes up there, right? Those are probably woodpecker holes. There were those parakeets in Holland that went into, they were all over this weeping willow, and they oh, yeah. matched oh, yeah. it. And they what? They matched. Like oh. the, the weeping willow was the same color of oh, green wow. as they were. Oh, wow. It was really pretty. Yeah, pretty soon this will all be lime green. So when I was here once, I drove back by Bancroft. And you know how when you go get to Denby, between Denby and Bancroft, there's you go up in those big hills and you can see forever, but it's all hills. Mm -hmm. So it was all this lime green color because it was spring. Oh, how it pretty. It was so cool because, you know, you're so used to looking for the colors in the autumn. But this was the spring color coming out, and so the whole foil foliage was like a lime green. How pretty. It was really, really cool. Like, I can still see it in my mind. It was really impressive. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, the forest revives me. Mm -hmm. I used to come out here when the kids were too much trouble. When Willem was home and you'd be like, see you later? Yeah. Yeah. I would escape. Ha ha, nobody knows where I am. <laughs> you can call mom all you want. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy. He's hitting me. He won't stop. Well, hit harder, will ya? No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, I know, eh? Children. It's interesting because Jacob was saying, he goes, you know, Dad, when you were 40.